Welcome to Life Journey. Glory. Church, I'm your host, Theophilus Fernandez. I'm here to present a very touching message. And I hope that a person that can do changes see this video. I want a president to see this video. I want Congress to see this video. I want a mayor of East State to see this video. But I want you as an individual, the people of God, to see this video. Because I believe the Bible say, if my people, which are called my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal the land. Christians, we are the light and we're the salt of the earth. The Bible said, the salt and lost the Savior, henceforth is good for nothing to be trod under the feet of men. So I'm pleading with my Christian family. Glory to God. Guns versus God. Yes, guns versus God. And if you are a Christian and you see all the terrorism, you see all the killing that have taken place into our country, especially in America, when they take out prayer out of school, they put in the prince of darkness, which is Satan. Guns don't kill lives. People that use gun kill lives. We see that, glory to God, hallelujah, Virginia Tech, glory to God, the, the slaughtering, the killing of so many innocent children. We see the combines. We see, glory to just recently in El, El, uh, El Paso, a gunman, 21 years old, walked in a shopping center and started shooting without mercy. Guns versus lives. Guns don't kill people, but, but people that use guns to kill lives. Anytime a gunman can come into the house of God and slaughter and kill the innocent. How many more lives shall be taken until we as people, glory to God, stand up and ban, glory to God, assault weapon, ban, glory to God, guns, period. Be like London. London does not have guns. They have batons. Let's have taser gun rather than guns. Guns don't kill people, but people, crazy people, have guns. The Bible say, glory to God, they that live by the sword must die by the sword. How many more lives should be taken away before we change the, the Constitution right by saying the right to bear arms? It ain't right to be armed. It's right to be a God. We as a nation, do we have mercy? The Bible says, judgment on mercy that show no mercy, and mercy rejoice over judgment. How many more lives shall be taken until we start getting on our knees and put a ban to rifle, put a ban to gun, put a, gu a ban to assault rifle? We as a people, we must be merciful. If it, was your, if it was your children that died at the hand, any time a person can say while their brother was at the gas station, he got gunned down. I've been robbed two, I've been robbed three times. What am I saying in this message? Guns versus God. God win. God say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God come to save lives. He said, I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That's guns. But Jesus Christ come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Guns versus God. God said, great love have no man than this, that, lay, that man lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you keep my coming. Where is the love? Let's start loving on our knees by praying that they ban guns in America. Yes, gun destroy a lot of people that pick up a gun and blow your brains out for no mercy. Did I tell you I've been robbed three times? And each time I got robbed, I was robbed at gunpoint. 
one. The first time with Rob was beaten. Glory to God. I asked somebody to help me. And they say, it's none of my business. Second time I got robbed. I got robbed on Valentine's Day. The gunman wearing a, a Jason uh, a, a mask said, give me all your money. I was praying. He told me, shut up. Stop praying. I'm here to tell you, my friend, prayer changes things. And if we as a nation stop praying, glory to God, gun will be banned in America. How many more lives shall be taken until we are seriously, glory to God, and sincerely, glory to believe in the Savior? We as a nation, we don't need to carry a gun. We need to carry God. We need to have goodness and godliness and mercy. Where is the God that we believe in? We got God on, on the money and God we trust, but we trust in guns. We trust in rifle. We trust in bullet. Let us trust in the bishop of our soul. Guns versus God. And I'm telling you, God is the winner and guns are the loser. Why? Because guns destroy lives. And the reason why I say guns is your life, because a gun will not be used until some fool. And the Bible say, glory to the people that glory to God don't believe that there's a God, they are a fool. And you will have no mercy. Look how many guns. A person commits suicide with a gun. A person walk in a shopping center and blow somebody with a gun. A person walk through the schoolyard, glory to God, hallelujah. Now they have dead detective, glory to God, metal detective in a schoolyard. They search you down. They have, they have cops in the church. Guns versus God. And God come to seek and to save that which was lost. And guns destroy lives. Hallelujah. And somebody break into my house and I pull out my gun. If I don't, I don't have any guns at home. But they, they arrest me because I have no license on my gun. I'm not thinking about carrying a gun. Because gun profit nothing. The Bible said a weapon of warfare that I caught up. But a mighty through God pull it down a stronghold. Guns versus God. And God always win the battle. Yes, God win, even though the devil is the God of this world. But guns destroy lives. The Constitution, let's talk about the Constitution. The Constitution says the right to bear arm. And that's why I'm not a politician. I'm a preacher. I'm not a politician because the, go to the Republican, they say let's uphold the right to bear arm. But let's not have Let's ban guns in America, period. Because guns destroy lives. Hallelujah. Do, does it have to touch the president's family before the, the, the president see the, the sincerity, the service, the savior of this world? Guns versus God. And if you are not safe, you believe in guns. But if you are saved, you believe in God because God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son. He died for you. He saved his, he, he went on the cross. He said, Eli, Eli, lama selected night, which means my God, my God, why thou forsaken me? Why thou far from helping me? But Jesus Christ said, the Bible said he died. He said, it is finished. He said, behold my mother. He said, behold my son. The, 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 the man that was on the cross. He said, Jesus remembered me when you go into, into your kingdom. He said, Jesus Christ said, thou shalt be remembered as I go into my kingdom. Guns. What is a gun, preacher? A gun is a, is a material that have a bullet. They pull the trigger and a person dies. How many lives must be destroyed until we wake up as in America? Be like London. The cops carry a baton. They carry a stick. Guns destroy lives. And guns, the gunmen have a better gun than cops in America. Cops all over the world. Guns destroy lives. How many more lives must be taken until we start praying to, for changes in America?
if I was a president, I would ban guns. I would build me a prison over us. Hallelujah. With, with, with in, in between of it is sharks. If you try to escape, the shark will eat you up. People, hallelujah, people that have guns, they need to be in jail. Yeah, you need to be in jail for life. And you get saved in life. In jail in life, my friend. Guns destroy lives because people, crazy people, have guns. Oh, glory to God. That's why I tell people, my friend. God versus guns. I'd rather have God in my life than carry a gun in my hand or on my side or in my bag. That's why. Lord, I'm not an SPO. I'm a security officer. Yes, I'm a security officer. The job that I had, I was a security officer and not an arm officer because guns destroy lives and God save lives. Guns versus God. And guess what? God is the winner because the devil is the loser. He got he was defeated when Jesus Christ died on the cross and went to hell and said, All oh, power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. God versus guns. And if you are a sinner, you don't believe in God. If you are a saint, you believe in God. And I'm giving an invitation right now for you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I believe in Acts 2.38. Not Acts, not a, not, not a gun 32, but I believe in Acts 30, 38. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you and to your children, which the Lord thy God shall call. The Bible says, save yourself from this untoward generation. I rather believe in God than carry a gun. Yes, I rather believe in God, the Savior of this world, than carry me a gun. Because the Bible says, the weapon of our warfare, they're not carnal. But they're mighty through God, pulling down a stronghold. The Bible says, put on a whole arm of God, on the arm, he say the sword, which is the word of God. The helmet to protect your brain, the breastplate, glory to God, protect your heart, and the shield to block off the sh block off the dart of the enemy, and your feet shall the preparation of gospel. So I can't go to I don't, I, I can't go places but that that are ungodly. Pray without ceasing. Pray in supplication. Are you a soldier in the army of the Lord? Guns versus God. And God always win. And the devil is a loser. If you carry a gun, you are a loser. Because the Bible says, this is what the Bible says. You know the reason why I carry guns? Because the Bible says, don't fear the man that can kill a body. Have nothing else to, to, to kill but fear him that can kill both body and soul into hell. Fear him. And the fear I'm talking about is reverence. The fear I'm talking about is adore him. The fear I'm talking about is to reverence him. Don't call me reverent. Call me a child of God because I'm not to be reverent. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Guns versus God. And God always win over a gun. Are you carrying, excuse me, are you carrying a gun? Excuse me, are you carrying a gun? Put down your gun and pick up God because God loves you. God sent his son that you can have life and have it more abundantly. Guns versus God. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, somebody right now plan on buying or purchasing a gun right now. Oh God, give them, oh God, the knowledge, give them the wisdom, give them the understanding, knowing that guns destroy lives because somebody crazy carrying a gun. Oh God, you the God. He say, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run therein and they are saved. Oh God, we thank you for the name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Oh God, and the righteous. He say, he that doing the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We thank you for protecting us. We thank you for guarding us. We thank you right now, oh God. 
Oh God, our life is hid in you, oh God. Our life is hid. We should not fear death because we already died already. When we got baptized in the wonderful name of Jesus. Bless my brother right now that live in fear of a gun. Any moment now, the gun might come to church. Gun might come to our job. Gun might come to our home. But to protect us right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. And I hope you remember God is greater than a gun. You don't need a gun. You need God in your life. Are you saved? Get saved right now. Amen. God bless you. And don't forget to subscribe to my video. Until then, my friend, may God bless you richly is my prayer. Guns versus God. God bless. Thank you.